Have you ever been afraid of something? No matter what kind of stuff makes us afraid, it should never stop us from doing what God wants us to do. Whether it's something he tells us to do in the Bible, or whether it's something we, he, that he puts on our hearts, our fear should never stop us. We've been talking about Moses and how uh, the Israelites came out of the land of Egypt. We're going to go back in time a little bit from where we were, and we're going to talk about how God told Moses to do this in the first place. And so we're going to be looking at Exodus chapter 3, and what we're going to see is that Moses was afraid. Now, think of Moses. You think of this strong guy, let my people go and part in Red Seas, but he didn't start off like that. Moses was afraid. God told him to do something, and he said, I don't think so, God. I'm not really into all that. And so we're going to look and see how God led him to overcome his fears and to be the person that God called him to be. And we're going to see that God wants to do the same thing for us. So we're going to look at Exodus chapter 3, and we're going to start in verse 2. So Moses was out uh, being a shepherd. That's what he did for a job. He, was, he, he watched sheep. And in verse 2 of Exodus 3, it says, There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Moses saw that though the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. And so Moses is, is out with the sheep and God appears to him in a burning bush. But the bush doesn't catch fire. It's just fire by itself that's around the bush. Kind of weird. So Moses goes and checks it out and then God calls him. In verse 9, God says, And now the cry of the Israelites has reached me, and I have seen the way the Egyptians are treating them. So now go. I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? And God said, I will be with you. And this will be the sign to you that, that it is I who have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this mountain. God calls Moses. He says, you're the guy. You're going to be the one who brings the Israelites out of Egypt. And Moses says, but who am I? Why do you think I'm good enough? Why do you think I'm special enough and important enough to bring the Israelites out of Egypt? Moses was afraid. Moses wasn't sure of himself. Moses thought that he wasn't very good. And so he thought God couldn't use him to do this. But God says something really important. He says, I will be with you. And so as we live the Christian life, it's important to know that God is with us. Jesus said all authority on heaven and earth has been given to him and that he will be with us always, even to the end of the age. Jesus is with us. God is with you right now. If you put out your hand to the right, if you put out your hand to the left, God is there. He's with you. And so you don't need to let fear, like Moses did, you don't need to let that stop you from doing what God has called you to do. God promises Moses in Exodus 3 verse 18, the elders of Israel will listen to you. And then you, you and the elders are to go to the king of Egypt and say to him, the Lord, the God of the Hebrews has met with us. Let us take a three-day journey into the desert to offer sacrifices to the Lord our God. So God promises this is going to work. But then Moses answered in chapter 4 verse 1, What if they do not believe or listen to me and say the Lord did not appear to you? So even though God promised Moses, he's still not sure about it. And then God said, well, here's a sign for you. You have a stick in your hand. I want you to throw it down and it's going to become a snake. Ugh. But then in chapter 4, verse 10, Moses said to the Lord, O oh Lord, I've never been eloquent, neither in the past nor since you have spoken to your servant. I am slow of speech and tongue. 
Moses is saying, God, I can't, I can't talk right. I don't do good at the talking. Moses is having a hard time trusting the Lord. In verse 11, the Lord said to him, Who gave man his mouth? Who makes him deaf or mute? Who gives him sight or, to make, or makes him blind? Is it not I, the Lord? Now go, I will help you speak and teach you what to say. But Moses said, O oh Lord, please send someone else to do it. God is saying, I'm going to be with you. I'm giving you the power. You're going to do what I'm calling you to do. And Moses finally gives up. He doesn't have any good reasons not to go. And he just says, Lord, please send somebody else. Now, God doesn't really like that, right? You know, if your parents tell you to do something, you're supposed to do it, right? You can't say, Mom and Dad, send someone else to clean my room. I just can't do it. And that's basically what Moses is saying to God. God is telling him to do something. He's even going to help him do it. And Moses says, nope, send someone else. Moses is afraid. Moses isn't sure of himself. And, and even worse, he's not sure of God's power. And God got mad at Moses. And verse 14 says, the Lord's anger burned against Moses. We're not supposed to let our fears be more important than, than God. We're supposed to fear God and love God and obey God more than anything else and not let our fears get in the way. We're going to do an activity and it's going to talk about our fears and how God can help us work through them. There are a lot of scary things in the world right now, but God is stronger than all of them. What I'd like you to do is take out a sheet of paper and either you write or have your mom and dad help you write some things that you are afraid of. And here's some of the things I put. I put spiders. I put getting old, mouse traps. I'm afraid that they'll hurt me. And I'm afraid of the dark. So I wrote all these on the paper and I drew little pictures to show what they were. And here's what I want you to do. Once you get them all written out, I want you to take some yellow and orange and red crayons that I want you to just scribble all over these fears. All right, so the fear is covered up with the crayon of the colors of fire, right? And so God showed up to Moses in a burning bush in fire. The Bible says that God is an all-consuming fire. And since God is stronger than all of our fears, he can burn up those fears so that they don't hold us back. No matter what he calls you to do, he's going to give you the power to do it. So let God burn up those fears. Let God work through you. And you're going to be able to do mighty things for him. Thanks for joining me today, kids. And hope you had a great Thanksgiving, and may God bless you.